for the next 24 hours, I will be a part of a traditional marriage between Nigeria and Ghana that took place right here in Udi. In Enugu, Udi is primarily known for its historical significance as one of the oldest local government areas in Nigeria. It is renowned for its rich cultural heritage, including traditional festivals, dances, and rituals that showcase the Igbo people's customs and traditions. Furthermore, Udi is renowned for its breathtaking landscape, which draws visitors from distant places. Upon arrival at the venue as a videographer, I noticed that the deco is still in progress, but it didn't take long before the deco was fully ready. Have you ever seen a beautiful deco like this? When shooting an event, the deco is a big part of the experience. <laughs> Our bride sits all dressed up in her lovely gown, feeling a bit nervous but mostly excited. Like a prince on her throne, she awaits for her makeup artist to finish with her magic. I do not have details of what the makeup artist used on her face, but I can assure you that the makeup artist is doing a good job. <laughs> Looking in the mirror, our bride sees herself transforming into something even more beautiful than before. When the makeup artist is done, the bride stands up, feeling confident and ready for her big day. <laughs> in that moment, she is not just a bride, she is a vision of happiness and beauty, ready to start a new journey. I love detailing my wedding videos, so I made sure that I took this, this, and this. I was not the only one taking shot of the bride's outfit, even though it posed as a challenge. As a professional, I must make sure that I deliver quality services to my clients. <laughs> First of all, I noticed that the bride outfit was a masterpiece crafted with love and precision by the finest designers in the land. The patterns and the colors of her traditional attire seem to come alive, reflecting the beauty and the grace of the wearer. The bride's radiant smile complemented her stunning outfit, making her a vision of loveliness that captured myself, the event planner, and other vendors. We can categorically say that Udi has a lot of beautiful women and I will come back some other time to explore the beautiful faces I can find on this land. The groom arrived at the venue with his entourage, all dressed in Ghana traditional attire. This was actually my first time shooting a Ghanaian Nigerian traditional wedding. While I was on the lookout for the groom, I saw a familiar face, Wadmaya. Wadmaya is a travel YouTuber that I also enjoy his travel videos. <laughs> Our groom walked in with Ghanaian song and for my Ghanaian friends who are watching, if you know what the song says, please help me interpret in the comment section. The entrance was not even the most interesting part, rather the rich colorful outfits kept the entrance alive while our guests were busy looking for where to sit. I spotted myself. Over the years, I have shot several weddings in Nigeria and I am accustomed to the patterns and the procedures of the event. In this wedding, I needed to play smart so I don't miss any single detail of the event. Let's officially introduce the groom for the first time. Wabena is his name. The groom's journey started from Ghana, a land of vibrant culture and rich history. I believe his ancestors' stories of bravery and wisdom have inspired him to go beyond borders to choose a wife for himself. <laughs> A 
in the heart of the traditional marriage ceremony, an unexpected sight caught my attention. Our guests from Ghana, dressed in their vibrant attire, seemed to be enjoying the festivity. <laughs> But then something changed. The Igbo cultural dance began and their curiosity was piqued. At first, they watched with interest, tapping their feet to the rhymes. They couldn't resist the infectious beat. Our groom joined in, his movements fluid and graceful, blending Ghanaian flair with Igbo tradition. Hmm. The crowd erupted in cheers and applaud, celebrating the union of cultures. From that moment on, our Ghanaian friend was no longer just a guest, but a part of the family, bound by the joy of music and dance. <laughs> The Igbo cultural dance attire is a vibrant expression of the rich heritage and traditions of the Igbo people, one of Nigeria's largest ethnic groups. Rooted in centuries, old customs and beliefs, Igbo dance attire has evolved over time, reflecting the cultural, social and historical influence that have shaped the Igbo identity. The moment everyone was waiting for had finally arrived. Our Nigerian bride was ready to greet our Ghanaian guests in a special way. With a graceful step, she approached our guests, her shebi flowing beautifully. She greeted them, honoring their presence. The guests were moved by her kind gesture and respectful greeting. In that moment, two cultures united in love, respect and celebration. One of the beautiful things I loved about the bride's first appearance was how she was able to dance to the sound of the flutes. Shortly after the bride left the stage, our Ghanaian guests could not resist the enchanting melodies and beauty that they just witnessed. Out of joy and happiness, our guests seized the stage. The moment of joyous reunion had finally arrived. Our bride's mother, beaming with pride, stood ready to greet our Ghanaian guests. She stepped forward, flecked by her closest friends, all dressed in vibrant attire. With open arms, they welcomed our guests, their warm smiles and laughter filling the air. The guest's face lit up with delight, feeling embraced by the love and hospitality. In that moment, two cultures united in a beautiful celebration of love. Today is actually a beautiful day the Lord has made and I'm so glad to witness such a beautiful moment with beautiful smiles on people's faces. Listen, I'm from Ghana and we are in Nigeria. Believe me or not, it's just one continent, different cultures, but one people. I mean, Ghana jollof is always the best. So we have to bring the jollof and mix it with the Nigerian jollof so that they will have the best cocktail jollof ever. And that's why we came for the best woman from Nigeria. It is what it is, man. Ghana, Nigeria, we fight a lot. But yeah, you know what? So that kingdom come. <laughs> the moment of destiny had arrived. Our beautiful bride emerged for the second time, her heart full of excitement and nervousness. She approached her father, who held a cup of palm wine, symbolizing the Igbo tradition. With a gentle smile, he blessed and handed her the cup, entrusting her with the ancient custom. She searched for her chosen one, her eyes locking onto the love of her life, and offered him the cup. Let's go!
As he accepted the drink, their union was sealed and they proceeded to her father for his final blessings. In that sacred moment, their love was consecrated and they became one, bound by tradition, culture and devotion. The moment of sweet delight had finally arrived. The bride and the groom stood together, surrounded by loved ones, gazing at the majestic cake, the music starting and the dance floor beckoning. The newly wedded danced with abandon, surrounded by friends and family, their love shining bright. In that unforgettable moment, their union was celebrated with laughter, music and a sweet taste of happiness. This is a perfect blend of Nigerian and Ghanaian culture. Congratulations to the lovely couple. May their love continue to inspire us all. Please click the subscribe button so that when I drop this kind of love story, you will be the first to watch. See you in my next video. Give up, give up, give up, give up. Ah,